That sound means it is time to verify. The CDC says Omicron is now the dominant COVID strain in the U.S., causing surging metrics on par and even surpassing last year's peak. Testing is subsequently in high demand with low supply in some areas. You certainly don't want to waste a hard to get at home test. So let's verify. Is it true the optimal time to test for Omicron is five days after exposure for most accurate results? Well, our sources are the CDC, an MIT study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine, and Dr. Chris Uhl, infectious diseases physician for Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. The time to test following an exposure uh, to COVID is uh, roughly three to five days. For both Delta and Omicron, probably closer to three days makes more sense because the virus is more transmissible. Um, and uh, it tends to cause infection faster. So yes, testing three to five days after exposure is best, and that's a slight difference from the five to seven days health experts recommended in 2020 and early 2021 before Delta and Omicron entered the picture. And timing is key. A 2020 MIT study looked into the probability of a false negative on a COVID test. On the first day after a probable exposure, the likelihood of a false negative was 100%. That percent decreased with each passing day. And the CDC has updated its isolation and quarantine guidelines for Omicron, saying the science shows transmission occurs one to two days prior to symptom onset and in the two to three days after. So in all exposure scenarios, whether you're vaccinated or not, the CDC suggests you test on day five after coming in contact with someone with COVID. And with this variant, any type of test that is FDA approved can give accurate results. Either a PCR test or a uh, rapid antigen test is fine, um, and the home tests are fine for doing it as well. In conclusion, we verified, yes, it's true, the optimal test time for Omicron is still five days after exposure, but given how fast Omicron spreads, you can test as early as three days and likely have accurate results. Soon, testing could become more plentiful and less expensive. Starting this Saturday, the Biden administration is requiring insurers to reimburse individuals for up to eight at-home tests per month. And the government is working on a website where you can order some of the 500 million at-home kits becoming available soon. With your Verify, I'm Megan Malaris.